finally starting to wake up. <sighs> okay. I've been thinking of purchasing one of those dashboard camera holders um, so that you know when we're vlogging in the car it's much easier for us to kind of like sh talk to you guys and show whatever it is that we're doing in the car without struggling because this ain't easy hello foodies welcome or welcome back to our channel in today's video i will be showing you guys how to properly prepare malawi and sima now the first thing you want to do is to go ahead and pre-boil some water for about five to six minutes before we get right into it in a separate pot you guys want to pour some maize meal flour yes once again that is a maize meal flour a little water and that is all you need for that nice malawi and sima Mm, 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 mm. as you guys can see in the demonstration we poured a good amount of water over the maize meal flour whisked everything together perfectly getting rid of any lumps any bumps for that nice smooth consistency once the mixing is good and done pour everything into the pre-boiled water being sure to keep whisking as you go along this is very important to get rid of any lumps and before you know it you have a nice bubbling porridge which you need to allow to cook very slowly for the next 15 minutes with the lid on before moving on to the next step preparing sima is all about that flour once the 15 minutes is done, you want to keep adding a good amount of flour as you whisk along. It's all about the hand movement, guys. Whisk along, add flour, whisk along, add flour until it gets thicker and thicker and thicker. And that is what cooking sima is all about, to be honest. At this point, you guys should start to see a thicker consistency. Now, cooking sima is all in the hand technique, you guys. You need to be firm, you need to be quick, and you need to be deliberate. This is a pretty good consistency to work with, and your sima is done. Cover it up once more and allow it to just simmer down for another 10 minutes on low to medium heat. At which point after this 10 minutes, you guys will need to give it a nice, you know, turn around, nice whisk again. I don't really know how to say guchakula in English, but you get the point and you are ready to start serving. For this final step, you guys are going to need a chipande or any scooper that can help you guys get that nice round shape to finish off serving your sima. As you guys can see in this demonstration, you just need to scoop, drop, scoop, drop until you get that nice shape that you're looking for, which you will then go ahead and place in your favorite serving dish and that's pretty much it. I need to apologize if you guys can hear some noise in the background. We have a kids party happening in the backyard and... Oh, I still had to get this video up for you guys so please bear with me if it gets a bit distracting but as you guys can see this is all that it really takes to make your sima and you're good to go before wrapping things up, I just wanted to throw in a quick technique on how to properly clean out your Sima pot once you are done using it. As you guys can see in the video, you simply have to use any go-to pot scrubber that you might have in the house. And what you want to do is clean around the pot until you get to the bottom of it. Make sure you have some running water to help to make this process a lot smoother. And in a couple of hours time, you guys should be good to use your pot again. That's all I have for you guys for this video. Thank you so much for coming back and watching another video with us once again. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye you guys.